What's up guys, Maybe from iTech224. Today I have an unboxing of the iPhone 5. This is the black AT&T 32GB model. Here on the front of the box we have a nice picture of the iPhone 5 itself. It's a nice black box, which I really like. On the back we just have some information about the phone. And on the side we have some Apple logos. So let's go ahead and get into the unboxing. Take off the top of the box to reveal the iPhone 5. Very nicely represented as usual by Apple packaging. We'll go ahead and put that to the side for a second and see what else is in the box. Underneath the phone, we have a package with all our goodies that we normally get from Apple, including Apple stickers and our quick start guide. So if you need anything and need help to get into the phone, just go ahead and look there. I noticed in a few other unboxing videos that everyone got a SIM tool, but I did not for some reason, so I gotta do some research into why I didn't get one. But that's okay, because I don't really need it. That's all we get in that little package, so let's go ahead and see what else we get. So now we have the ear pods, which is Apple's redesigned headphones, and they're supposedly supposed to be really comfortable and sound really good, so we'll take a look at those. And we have the brick charger that we have come to know. And we have the brand new lightning connector. Now this is supposed to be super small and my first impression is that it is super small. So that looks really nice and I'm excited to use it. So let's go ahead and take a look at the phone, peel off the plastic on the front and the back. My initial impression is that it is very light compared to the iPhone 4S. Although it is not as light as I was expecting coming from some of the comments that other people are making. On the front here we have the 4 inch display and we have the new 720p HD front facing camera. On the back we have this nice design of aluminum and glass. I have the black model of course, but it also comes in white which has a raw aluminum which I really like as well. We have the camera back there and the flash as well. On the side we have the normal volume button and silent switch. On the top we no longer have our headphone jack and on the bottom we have our headphone jack, the new lightning port, a speaker that's supposed to be improved, and the new microphone. So this is it compared to the iPhone 4S. You can see that it is definitely longer and definitely thinner. And there you can see how the difference in the connectors are. It's a massive, massive difference. So the iPhone 4S definitely looks dated compared to the iPhone 5. So anyway guys, that is my unboxing of the iPhone 5. Stay tuned for much more coverage on this phone. If you like this, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you can see all those other videos I'm about to make. Hope you enjoyed it. Again, my name is Matt from iTech224, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.